The officer that was involved in the shooting is a six and a half year veteran of the Evansville Police Department. His name is Ryan Winters, and he has been on paid administrative leave uh, per department policy, uh, but he is scheduled to return to work uh, today or tomorrow. A subsequent search of the car that Mr. Fingers had fled from officers in revealed 18 grams of synthetic cannabinoids, a box of baggies, a digital scale, and a loaded 380 handgun in the car. A check of Mr. Fingers' criminal history revealed that he is a convicted felon. Uh, he's had many arrests in his lifetime, and he is actually considered a serious violent offender. Uh, it is our belief that this arrest has the potential to put him in prison for the rest of his life. And when he was fleeing from officers, uh, he was fleeing to keep his freedom. Uh, every decision that he made to ensure his freedom escalated the situation and put more people in danger. Uh, the officer uh, that fired the shot uh, was the person that was forced to end Mr. Finger's actions that night. That gets us to the point of the investigation into the shooting. The question that we have to ask ourselves when there's a use of force, especially a deadly force, is did the officer's actions meet the reasonableness standards that the courts have set? The reasonableness standards say that the action of the officers have to be considered reasonable by other police officers who are in those situations facing those same circumstances. So when we look at this, that's, that's our determining factor. Based on all of the events, and the situation that's in front of that officer, was their decision reasonable? Uh, based on all of the information that is available to us at this time, the Evansville Police Department, Chief Billy Boland, have decided that the officer's actions were reasonable based on the situation and based on the circumstances that he was facing at the time.